All celebrity voices impersonated. And now, Metalinema presents a very special special. It's Philip H. Anselmo's Christmas Carol. New Orleans, Louisiana, Christmas Eve, 2021. Oops, I did it again. I heard with your dirt. Mixed it with her. Oh, baby, baby. Oh. Hey, Phil. Oh, well, well, look who's here. It's my favorite manager, Jake Marley. What do you got for me, Jake? Mm, not much, man. I mean, I've been thinking about your future. It's really time for a change. For the last time, I ain't gonna change the name of the band to Philip H. Anselmo and the Undocumented Workers. No, no, no. It's it's not that, Phil. It's It's the other thing we've talked about. Have you given it any more thought? Whoa, the other thing. Nope, I don't want to do that at all. I don't think that would be the right thing. My heart's not in the right place, and it's not the right time or place for my heart to be in it. Ah, come on, Phil. You're a legend. Everybody knows it, especially you. God damn right I do. But this has been a hard year for people. Everybody's looking for a Christmas miracle. You sure you don't want to rethink it? There ain't nothing to rethink, and that's the bottom line, because Phil Anselmo. Okay, man, but there's going to be a lot of disappointed fans this holiday season. Well, they'll just have have to make do. I'm just not feeling it, bro. Well, okay, if that's how it is. I keep hoping something's going to change your mind, though. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, anyway, it's getting late. I'll see you later, Jake. Yeah, take care, Phil. And Merry Christmas. Man, where does he get off telling me what to do and how I should be? I don't need anybody to tell me who I am. It's Philip H. Anselmo. And I can stand on my own one, two, two feet. That's right. Oh, man, it's about 4 a.m. Time to hit the old posturepedic. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Bro. Bro. Hey, bro. Jake, is that you? No, man, it's me. You. Me? Yeah, you. You? You. Well, me. Me? Yeah, me. I mean, you. Uh, It's fucking Phil, dude. I'm you. I'm Phil. Wait a minute. Are you saying that you're Philip H. Anselmo? No, man. Back when you used to be Phil Anselmo. Remember that? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, I'm from like the 90s and shit. I guess you could say I'm the ghost of your past. Girl. What the fuck? I know. I'm looking at you and thinking the same thing. Look at you now. All busted up and brain damaged. I can't believe how you ended up. Well, hang on, bro. If you're me, well, then some of that shit's on you, too. I guess you're right. We always were smart like that. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Well, anyway, bro, I came here because I needed to send you a message and tell you something important. I know what you're gonna say. Lay off the smack. Everybody tells me that, like, all the fucking time. Man, we both know that ain't gonna happen. I'm just trying to make you remember who you were. The fucking kid. The fucking champ. The fucking legend. Tell me something I don't know, bro. Well, it seems like somebody needs to tell you, bro, because you're not acting right. You ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. You know what you need to be to be that legend, to live up to all them things they say about you on Wikipedia. Remember back when you were me? You? Yeah, you. Me? No, me. Wait. Mm, You? We're we're the same person, bro. God damn. Okay, okay, whatever. Just make your fucking point. The point is this. 
You got a mandate. Whoa, is it Friday night already? Not Jesus Christ, no. You got a mandate to be the legend that everybody wants you to be. To bring back that fury and that fire that everybody's waiting for. And don't you even make me tell you what I'm talking about. You know damn well. Look back on those days with me, bro. See it. Hear it. Feel it. Back when we were saving metal in the 90s. It was magic. You were the king. You can be the king again. Come on. I know you got it in you. Look. Fuck that time. Fuck those fans. Fuck you, bro. Don't you ever come into my house telling me what to do. And I don't care if you're you and I'm me and... Well, I, I fucked that up. I, you know what I mean. Get the fuck out of here, man. I know who I am. I'm a goddamn legend. Yeah, maybe in your own mind if you keep up your bullshitting. All right, bro. Suit yourself. Tried to warn you. Hey, and don't even bother doing any of them black metal projects at the end of the 90s. They all came out sounding like shit. Man, fuck you. I mean, f me. I d get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, just know that there's two more coming after me. So buckle up, motherfucker. God damn, what the fuck was all that about? Not even me is gonna tell me what to do. No fucking way. I wouldn't be where I am today if I ever listened to myself. Well, maybe you listen to me then. Wow, holy shit, who the fuck is that? You know damn well who I am. Well, uh, dime? Man, this is fucked up. It can't be you. Yeah, well it is. And I'm here to tell you where you're at right now. You lost your way, bro. Everyone used to love you. The fuck do you mean, man? Everybody still loves me. I'm a fucking legend. Yeah, but it ain't the same and you know it. They loved you in a way that only bros can love other bros, bro. They loved you in pain. No, don't even say the fucking name. I'm tired of it, dude. Okay. Well, if you won't do it for yourself and you won't do it for your fans, maybe there is someone you can do it for. Take a look with me now, Phil. Let's go to the house of Little Zacky Wild. Little Zacky Wild? What's he got to do with all this? See him down there? Sitting in his room, trying to come up with something new that people are gonna like. He knows that Black Label Society ain't gonna pay his bills for the rest of his life, and he's worried. What's he gonna do? Oh man. <laughs> What's gonna become of Little Zacky Wild, Phil? You ever thought of that? Not really. I mean, Zachy Wild's a bro and everything, but uh, it's not down to me to determine his fate. Are you so sure about that, Phil? I think you got the answer to his and everyone else's prayers. You just don't want to face it. You don't want to admit that that's what you need. Uh, hang on a second. You trying to tell me that I can do this without you, Dime? Maybe without me. But well, you could use some help from little Zacky Wild, and he needs your help too. Otherwise, who knows what's gonna happen to y'all. Well, I'll be just fine, but it don't sit well with me that something could happen to Zacky Wild. Well then get on that shit, brother. You know what you need to do. Get your pole. Fucking do it. Give everybody that Christmas miracle before it's too late. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not a convinced that this is a good idea. Well, maybe you will soon enough. Say, before I go, you don't think you could fix me a black tooth grin or nothing, could you? No, Dime. I ain't gonna fix you that stupid fucking drink. Get the fuck out of my house. You always were an asshole, Phil. But you can be an asshole in the right place at the right time for once. So heed my words. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going back up to heaven to jam with Dio and Jimi Hendrix. Holy shit, is that really what's happening? <laughs> no, you dumbass. It doesn't work that way. There ain't nothing when you die. See ya. All right, that's enough. I'm not gonna do any of this shit y'all are trying to make me do. So stop trying to make me do it. Don't nobody else come into my house or to my head or any of this bullshit voodoo bullshit. I ain't gonna do it, okay? I ain't gonna fucking do it. Well, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to do it. 
God damn, what now? Vinny, is that you? That's right. I've been hearing everything you've been saying to Dime and yourself. Oh, that one was weird. But, Phil, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. You're right. You've got free will. you got a free life. I mean, hell, brother, do whatever the fuck you want. But realize that the choices you make affect your future forever. And you may not be a legend by the end. And I know that's not what you want. Man, you're now talking crazy because I'm going to be a legend forever. Because that's like the whole point of being a legend is like once you're a legend, you're always a legend. Yeah? You think so? Well, why don't we take a little trip ahead into the future and see what that looks like. Dude, here we are at Phil Anselmo's grave. Yeah, bro. It's amazing he lived to be 59 years old. I mean, damn, he even outlived Zach Wilde. Dude's a fucking legend. No, no. He was still pretty cool by the end, but I wouldn't say legend no more because he didn't ever get back to what really mattered. I mean, he was just doing that, like, Philip H. N. Selmo and the illegal shit, and I was cool and all, but I don't know. You saying you don't think Phil was a legend? Nah, he pussed out, man. He didn't have the fucking guts to, like, show us the vulgar display of power again. I don't know. He just kind of... He's all right, I guess. Wow, when I think about it, I think you're right. Yeah, whatever. Fuck this guy. Here, let's throw our empty beer cans on his grave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. Hey, man, let's go drive to Dimebag's grave and, like, totally deface it. Because, you know, that guy's, like, the real inspiration. Man, what the fuck? That was completely disrespectful. Goddamn right it was. So how about it, Phil? Still feeling legendary? Fuck no. And now I finally see what you guys are trying to tell me. I can't let this happen. I gotta save this for myself and for little Zachy Wild and for all the fans and for the whole world. I gotta get back out there and save metal like I did the first time. You know damn well. So what you gonna do, Phil? What the fuck do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna reform Pantera. <laughs> And so Phil reformed Pantera, this time with little Zacky Wild by his side. His legend was secured, and the fans' hearts were full of love and cheap beer. And as the North Star shone high over New Orleans that Christmas night, Phil looked up at it and said, God damn, God bless us, everyone. <laughs>